I don't know if it was like the right choice to cut his leg off or what. I don't know. Still did it. Anyways, <laughs> nonetheless, nonetheless, it's done. Episode 2, Starved for Help. must be very boring especially for like a kid like Clementine I'll see what I can do. Cat, okay? can you fix him? Jesus, Ken. Lee. I, I don't know. Lee! What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here. What are you thinking? Hey, you want to calm down for a fucking hey, minute? No, I don't. I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. I thought we could save his life. I'm the one that took his leg. That makes me responsible. Well, that was a stupid thing to do. We are this not responsible really for every there. struggling survivor we come across. We have to focus on our group, right here, right now. Well, hang on. We haven't even talked to these people yet. Maybe they can be helpful. Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, no. Fine, you guys fight it out then. Welcome to the family, kid. Come over here and see what I drew. But, what? No, I... Just come on, okay? You know, you like to think you're the leader of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Oh, come on, you're being dramatic. Everything always turns into a power struggle between you two. I'm not gonna be a part of that. Hey. I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around, but now that it's running out, suddenly... I think, uh, Kenny's Nazi. right. Kenny's right. Yeah, you're in charge of the food and the schedules, but you're not in charge of people's lives. Really? You weren't there. Lee made a choice. End of story. Look, once Katja patches that guy up, you can kick him out of here. Send him out on their own. I couldn't care less but they at least deserve a fighting chance against the walkers. And for the record, Kenny wanted to leave those people behind. If Kenny would pull his head out of his ass for five seconds, he'd realize that I make these decisions to protect his family. We simply don't have enough food. I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Dad, please. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? You know what? If you think I'm doing such a shitty job, then you do it. That's all the food we have for today. You decide who gets to eat. Hey. No, I'm serious. Pick up that food and start handing it out. You see how it feels to not have enough food for everyone. This part is kind of sad. You only have four food items for ten people. Damn. So, I think we're gonna flee, fleed. Yeah, we're gonna bleed everyone. We're gonna feed Clementine first, cause she's like the most important. <laughs> Ooh, 
Lemon time. How you doing, Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, Claire. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. Oh, yeah. She lost her hat. Here, Clem. You need something to eat. Uh... Would you have uh, an apple? Sure, it's probably the I most nutritious. Apples. Thank you. Are there more? No, honey. That was the last one. Oh, um... Enjoy it. You deserve it. Right. And then I think we should feed Kenny also. Want something to eat? Here, Kenny. Take this. How about my boy? He eat yet? Uh, no. Come talk to me once my boy's taken care of. Alright. Feeding duck. <laughs> duck. Hey, duck. How about a little food? Here. Yeah! Oh, man, I'm so hungry! Alright, and then who else? Definitely not Ben. Because he... <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> if you've played this before, you know, you know. But for right now, he's new, so yeah, no. And Something Carly, new. sure. Here. Me? How about you? You look like crap, Lee. When was the last time you ate? I'm okay. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. I know I said it didn't matter why you saved me instead of Doug, but... You don't owe me anything, Carly. I think they should be a love story. <laughs> uh, anyways, moving on. Something to eat? Kenny. Here, Kenny. Take this. How about my boy? He eat yet? Yeah, I gave him something. Sure, then hand it over. I'm starved. Thanks. Kenny's probably my favorite. Keep for myself. I thought we had jerky left, but maybe not. Um, no. Let's. Who, who are we gonna give it to? Uh. Yeah, sure. I'll eat it. It's not one of not bleh, not really anyone else here that I like enough. That's such an easy job, isn't give. it? <laughs> maybe, maybe him. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Hey, thanks for looking out for me and my family. Yeah, of course. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. You're out! What happened to my food? There's none left. You keep treating people like this, and your days in this group are numbered. You're one to talk, old man. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't see you working on that wall. At least we tried to get food, you know. Instead of sitting on my ass all day <laughs> on a wall, he's been he's been building that wall for like three months, right? How are you doing, Clementine? Like ever since the first episode. Right? Yeah, is that man going to be okay? I'm not sure. I hope he will. Uh. That thing doesn't work anymore, does it? No, not since it broke at the drugstore. Just gonna hold on to it then? Yeah, if that's okay. I, um, I need it. It's okay, hon. You said they'd find us. I know, I did. And until then... Look, uh, Clementine. I'm not stupid, Lee. I know it's just pretend. But it makes me feel better. Okay, you take good care of it then. 
I will. You'll be okay over here? Uh-huh. I'll be okay. Um, okay. I forget what... I think... Well, I forget what we have to do next to progress ourselves. Just talk to everyone, maybe. Okay. I don't know. Can you give me a hand real quick? Sure. What do you need? Just apply some pressure here while I try to close this up. You know, I thought I was starting to get used to this, sewing up people's injuries. But I mean, cuts and bruises are one thing, but Lee, this man has no leg. I did the right thing. Yeah, I know you did. The right thing is just scary sometimes, I guess. Well, you've done all you can, Lee. Thanks for the help. Go ahead and check in on the others. I need a little space here anyway. I think I think we just have to talk to like everyone. Uh Will you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Uh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. <laughs> such an asshole, dude. Why are we about to talk to Larry? Hey, you holding up okay, Lee? I was pretty fucked up back there, having to cut that guy's leg off. Yeah, I just hope Kabja can save him. Sorry, there's, there just wasn't enough food to go around. I understand. Got to be hard to make those decisions. Just get me next time. Lily's pretty pissed at us. Listen, I know her intentions are good, but... But nothing! She's making the smart choice. Those parasites you guys brought back need to go. <laughs> this dude is so in the way. Base? I mean, this wall isn't exactly military standard. No way I'm going back there. You saw what it was like when you guys picked me up. Completely overrun. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. I think I'll give it to Mark. Here, Mark, this should help. Thanks. Hey, I'm the one doing all the work over here. You didn't think to give me the axe? Come on, Larry. Give it a rest, man. Things are different. Being a racist is outdated. Oh. And that's what you think this is? Is that what you told him? Yeah, that's right. And what are you gonna do about it? Look, I don't care what it is, but you two have got to start trying to get along. The only thing I have to do is protect my daughter. And right now, that means getting this damn wall fixed. So I would appreciate it if you two would shut up and let me get back to work. <laughs> Lee, come here, please. He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing... Let him go, Katja. But... He just needs time. It's been a rough morning. That man you brought, I tried. But he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. What about the other kid? And... Oh shit. Forgot about this part. Dude, come on. Dude, what is this guy doing? You okay? Yeah, thanks. Why'd you bring him here in the first place, asshole? Yeah, uh, here we go You're again. gonna get us all killed! You said he wasn't bitten! What? We asked you point blank, was he bitten, and you said no! He wasn't! 
Well, your not-bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife! What? Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? Oh, yeah, I don't know it's yet. It's not the bite that does it. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. God help us. It makes sense. In those first few days, it spread so fast. Car accidents, suicides, everything was making more of them. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning and... God... Back off! Whoa, lady, relax. Me and my brother, we... We just want to know if y'all can help us out. I said back off! Harley. Are you armed? Yeah. F for protection. Dead could be anywhere. But, uh... I think you got the upper hand here. Why do you need gas? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out, see if it's legit. I'm going with you. I got your back if anything seems fishy. So, uh, what are y'all thinking? You've got a deal. We'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. We'll see how it goes from there. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. 